Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back for more Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we got on this crazy train and started Chapter Six. In this episode, we're gonna continue on in the night portion of the train. And with me, I have a very special guest today. So, who, I, explain who you are. <laughs> Hello, I'm Impossible. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my own name. <laughs> okay, repeat that. <laughs> I am M. Osborne, and I am still your little brother because of the Paper Mario Let's Play I'm doing. Yes, you were doing. He is doing Paper Mario One. I suggest you check it out because it's pretty nice. But we're gonna continue on the portion of the train at night. So you want to talk to the conductor who's in clearly in the back of the train, Mr. Mario? I am glad you spoke to me. I just remembered something suspicious. I had found myself one blanket short while I was handing them to passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for, but it's vexing. I have exact blank accounts. It means someone came in on board without a ticket. That stowaway just might be a suspect, Mr. Mario. Now only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. If you could get, look for the ticket package and get that blanket, I'd thank you. Uh, sure, why not? Honestly, why would he great be sleeping thing. since he has to guard that room? We'll have to keep watch here, but I'll be waiting for the good news. Okay, so what you want to do now, you want to go to room four. Because as we went over in the last episode, that room's empty. And it's very suspicious that that room's empty, so we'll have to see otherwise. <laughs> I can't believe you butchered your own name. <sighs> I, I'm dyslexic, I tell you. That's mad funny. <laughs> Anyways, anything special in this room that I can get? There's nothing in this room, nothing at all, nope. Well, how'd you, how'd you pronounce my username in your stupid intro to... Oh yeah, I said, I forgot how I said your name. <laughs> Nobody can pronounce my name right. And... <laughs> Well, anyways, now as I'm, I don't think I mentioned this, but this guy that I'm with right now, M. Osborne, he's actually a part of the Super Mario 64 Elimination Race. And it's awesome. And we're talking to the ghosty because he appeared out of nowhere. So you found me. Well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here, but he didn't realize I'm a ghost. A yummy, sticky threat? No, I left no such thing. I came and hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? Fine. All I need is... YOUR LIFE! No, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago, but I think my luggage is still in the cabin baggage cart here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear that someone would find it and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so please find it and bring it here. If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. And don't you even dare read my diary! Because if you do, hoo hoo hoo, a horrible fate awaits you. <laughs> now, don't explain what happens if you read the diary. Because you know what? I'm gonna demonstrate this. And oh, you are. Yes, I am. I'm gonna save my file. So hey, do you remember how he said that he can't hold simple objects like pen and paper? Yeah, how could he read the diary? <laughs> right? No, I mean, and how could he give back the blanket? How did he. How was he even given a blanket? Yeah, yeah. The, the you, you will be given a blanket. Yes, but how did he get? How would how would he be given one? Is what I want to know. I, I where does he hide it? I have no idea. But you talked to this guy. Did you find it? What? A ghost? Eek! And he won't give you the blanket unless you get a diary from the baggage baggage car. I see. Well, go on in. You can't say no to ghosts. Actually, I can. I just said no. But anyways, now <laughs> we're gonna be a bunch of badasses. We're gonna go back here because this is where the diary is. Now. We're gonna press start. We're gonna go to important objects. We're gonna go to the Ragged Diary. Read the diary. Oh, sure, what the heck. You may be cursed by the ghost. Do you want to read it anyway? Oh, sure, what the heck. Oh, yeah. I mean, think about it, this, okay? This could be really, really bad if you understand me. Oh, sure, what the heck. Month day, X day cloudy. I got on a train today, and on that train. You locked! Even though I told you not to! Now see what happens! And basically, uh, yeah. The screen gets really ridiculously crazy, and game over. <laughs> yeah, they did. They they went there. <laughs> oh, oh what humor. A Paper Mario games. Oh god. Okay. Now, well, folks, that's what happens when you read a ghost diary. You die. Okay. Now ghosts what? are scary, man. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Oh, even funnier when you butchered your name. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna redo what we just did. We're gonna go back and get the diary. 
but this time, we're not gonna read it. <laughs> because I don't want to do that again. I wish I knew what happened when he was on the train. It must have been before he died, so... It's kind of cool to know. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, we don't have to talk to this guy again, because we just said it, said his stuff. So now we're gonna go back here and get the diary for the second time. And now we're gonna go back to room four and give it to Mr. Ghostman, who's in room four. Doesn't that sound nice, Matt? By the way, his name, his name is Matt. <laughs> I don't hey, care. Your name's Jamie. I know, everyone knows that. <laughs> Who doesn't know that? The girl's name. Shut up! It's not a girl's name. It's a mm -hmm. unisex name. It, there's a difference. Uh... <laughs> I heard? What was that? My brother's girlfriend. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> anyway. She's crazy. Oh, God. Anyway, so we're gonna talk to the ghost man again. Did you find my diary? Yes, we did. Yes, this is my diary. Very well, your blanket is right here. Okay, how did he give me the blanket if he can't touch it? I don't know. Oh, you were very wise not to read my diary, friend. Oh, 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 like oh, 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 and this is funny, because he goes up to the heavens, like, the, sh the sun, like, sky and everything, everything's going all light. But as you would know it, <gasps> nope! <laughs> well, actually, maybe not. I've come, I've been here so long, i kind of gotten used to it. The wallpaper's so great, maybe I'll stay here a little, just a little while longer. I can leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, now we need to go all the way back to the back of the train to give the conductor his things. To give the con- I, I- I feel like I've just done this before. <laughs> then again, the last recording had my mom in it, which isn't a fun thing. I could have used it for a blooper. I could have. But you know what? Probably. That's- I don't- I didn't want to. But anyways, we're gonna go back to the conductor and talk to him. So, Mr. Mario, how did it go? Talk to him. Give him the blanket. Oh, thank you very so much. I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy and sicky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture of my thanks. He gives you a mushroom! Hooray! Tasty. It's, like, I don't care about mushrooms. Because I have a bunch of ultra shrooms and jam and jellies. I don't need this mushroom bowl crap. But anyways, now we need to go back to our room because we have to rest up and get ready for the next day of the voyage. And as you would notice that at night the shop is closed, so you can't shop in this train. My dog is barking. I can't even hear your dog. Good, because it's annoying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyways, here's room five. Here's our room. And then our Yoshi here is going to be like, Hey, the conductor can handle the train, so let's go for a few winks. Yes, I don't even know what you just said. So we're going to sleep. <laughs> My Yoshi's name is so happy. <laughs> You're so copycatish. I don't care. Train hey, voyage, you. day two. Okay, on this mystical voyage of this of the skies or whatever, I don't even know what to call this voyage, we need to go back to Pangington. And I get an email. No one cares. Does that have a picture in you it? You totally bagged that chubby guy in record time. I was very impressed. Hey, come to think of it, I could use your skills. Could you help me? Sure, why not? Really? Wow, okay, so I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. Okay, here's a question. Why would you keep something from your ex-boyfriend? Oh, these so people weird. are sti- And they're like all full of memories and stuff. I'm why do you want those memories? She's so lonely. I don't care. If I don't keep my- I don't keep things from my ex-girlfriend. Are you kidding? That would make me sad face. Uh. <laughs> oh, I don't even. I don't even know. Okay, Pennington, we gotta talk to you because you got stuff for us here. Ah, my name's Luigi. Your time is impeccable. Our new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts of my assistant, Luigi. Okay. 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 Here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital. So tell Luigi very slowly. Of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly as an amazing product that even raised the dead. But if I, but if I, if mixed with the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold, well then the results are explosive. The resulting goo blast will immobilize everyone here in a sticky, yu yummy shellac. If fall into the wrong hands, well I could lose more than my job. You could lose your life. <laughs> Let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. Well, who thought of that one? No, you definitely had it yesterday. Hmm. 
and the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. I have it! Rudimentary, my dear Luigi! Rudimentary! The thief is still on the train! Whoa, boy, thanks! Thanks for telling me something I already knew, man! Luigi, have we spoken to the waitress and the lady in cabin two? They have both lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings. And the lady Toodles lost a gold ring. Luigi, the same person who stole these objects also has the nitro honey syrup. They could make this goo blast. They could carry on the threat. <laughs> and the note. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta find the thief. Blah, blah, blah. Stop talking. <laughs> That's all I have to say. My throat is killing me for some reason. I don't even know. I can hear. I think I hear it a little bit. Hear what? What? I don't know what. what. I'm hearing. I don't know. I'm hearing things. I'm going crazy. I'm a crazy man. I don't even know what I'm saying. You might be hearing my dog. You hear like a loud screechy noise? A little bit. But anyways, you, you go to cabin two and talk to the lady. Well, hello there, you fine, fine specimen of a man. You're so hot and sexy. But I must ask you for something important. I don't know, that's not what she really said, but otherwise. Well, she does need something, so. Well, listen, well, I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you please hasten to search along for me, you... Boldly brilliant man. I am brilliant, and I am bold, and I am sexy. I am a fat Italian plumber. But, but anyways, you come into Zip Toad's room, and you click this. The vital paper. This looks like something very important and complicated. And with something very important and complicated, what do you do with that? You bring it to Peggington, because Peggington knows everything. Hooray. Oh, Jamie, let me vacuum your room real quick. Oh, shut the <laughs> okay, this is the part when my mom came in and vacuumed my room and just like, Jamie, you gotta move the cards! <laughs> Matt hurt everything. <laughs> oh, it was so bad. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, we gotta go back to Peggington to show him the vital paper. It would've been perfect in the elimination because you couldn't cut that out. Oh my god, that would be so bad. Anyways, <laughs> talking to Peggington, have you seven on any clues? You get the vital paper. What is this paper, huh? What sort of clue is this supposed to be? And this guy's ah, that that's one of the contracts for my upcoming business deal. What? I mean, yes, just as I suspected. You didn't know shit, <laughs> Luigi. Where did you find this very important clue? <laughs> Cabin one, you say? Yes, zip toad room, a place I have long suspected. Come to think of it, I do not believe I've seen him today. Then perhaps he's hiding somewhere the train. Oh, he's my stupid. Oh my god. <sighs> Find that zip toad. Okay, so here's what we gotta do. I believe we have to go either back to his room, right? Yeah. I think we have to go either his room or mine. From because magical stuff happens. Magical stuff happens. Magical. I think it's in our room, to be honest. Yes, it is. Okay, I'm smart. Could this be another clue? This paper is just like the last one. This suspect must be in here somewhere. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna scope them out. Vivian, we're gonna hide under our room. And just wait for a little bit. And. And you see Zip Toad. Zao, where'd you come from? You won't be catching me that easily, guy. Okay, so now you have to catch Zip Toad. And I hit him. Cool. Youch! He has a set pattern, so it's not hard to hit him. It's really not. It was took two seconds. So this was our man all along, pretending to be zip toad, I say. All the white piffering things from others to aid your evil plan. Hmm, yes, this was all just as deduced. I knew what all along you were, fake. Yes, a discolored nostril hair tipped me off. <laughs> and not only that, but I knew that you were the one who threatened the Ouija. Crisis! I almost got away with it by by getting off of the River State Station too. I almost got away with it too, if it weren't for those mentally kids and that dumb dog. Anyway. Yes, you're probably a daring and ingenious little game, my false friend. But the jig is up now, friend, and the good people of this train now now safe. That is correct, sir. No one escapes from this improperly large brain. Ahem, well, in any case, at least return what you have stolen, Frank. Bleh. And from him we get... The briefcase. The gold ring. And the shell earrings. Perfect. Ah! My precious briefcase! Is that the nitro... Is the nitro honey syrup safe? Give him the briefcase. The briefcase was returned. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, the stars are safe. Now we'll get in the sack. Our, rounds, our rendezvous with disaster was deduced by my, mo my most rudimentary of deductions. Be 
Bing bong, bing bong. Attention all passengers. This train will soon make a brief schedule stop at Riverside Station. Thanks for sharing. And oh, boy, this, that place is so annoying. Yeah, this is probably the only the dungeon only place in the game that requires fighting for the most part. <laughs> yeah, I think actually yeah. Cause this this chapter is not a lot of fights in it. It's pretty simple. It's pretty nice. I love it. Yeah, it's actually my favorite chapter too. It is my favorite chapter too, sir. Everyone's favorite chapter. Hey, I think not slick. You think you could hold me? No way. Beldum would flip if I let that happen. Oh my god, it's dupless! The whole Zepto thing was just a means to get an end. It's me, suckers dupless. Beldum's plan to goo goify Mario didn't exactly work, so I'll be cutting and, cutting and running now. I'll leave the rest of Beldum. See ya, suckers. Huh. As soon as he called me slick, I knew otherwise. Okay, so this video is going to end rapidly when we get to the save point in the Riverside Station. But before we do that, we got one more thing to do. We need to give these people these things that they needed. Oh, did you find them? My shell earrings? Give them the shell earrings. Oh, there they are. These are my earrings. Thank you so much. Anyway, before I forget, take this as my thanks. And she gives you a star piece. You are like the nicest old mustache overall wearing guy I've ever met. Well, thank you for calling me ugly. And the lonely woman that needs her ring back. Yes. Yeah, so no, the, that was the woman that needed her earrings. We need to go to the oh, the lonely woman that needs her ring now. <laughs> Actually, you don't need to give her her stupid thing back because it's not important. Well, I'm giving it to her anyway because I get stuff. Have you found my gold I ring, you mystery sniffing master? What the fuck is wrong? With yeah, that was definitely the ring I lost. Thank you, you glorious creature. I knew you would find it without fail. It is merely a trifle, but please take this as my earnest thanks. You give me 30 coins? And do take care. What? 30 coins? You're a dick, lady. Told you, you didn't need it. I don't care. There's still 30 coins in my pocket. I mean, money's very plentiful in that game anyway. It really is. Especially by selling badges. You know, I don't sell badges. I do. Okay, anyways. Anyways, we're here. We are in the save point of Riverside Station. I think I'm gonna call this episode. The door is locked. How will we get inside? Well, we're gonna find out next time. So next time on Paper Mario, that's in your door. We're gonna go inside the Riverside Station and see what is to cover in there. And thank you for having. Thank you. Thank. Wait. Thank you for being on here today with me, Matt. No problem. And I will see you in the next episode. See you Bye. guys. <laughs> see you guys next time. <laughs>